Greetings and salutations, good people. My name is Otis James Bush Jr. This is OJB Cooking. Today we pulling back up to the breakfast bar, looking for a sweet treat. Not pancakes, and we ain't talking waffles. This morning, we doing muffins. Top of the muffin to ya. Specifically, strawberry muffins. Using not only fresh chopped strawberries, but also a strawberry reduction. So what we going in? Got some flour, of course. Got some butter, got some eggs, got some sugar, brown sugar, a little lime juice, got strawberries, of course, of course. Got some milk, got some baking powder, baking soda, salt, and a little cinnamon up in that thing, you feel me? And that's it, man. Go take all this, hook it on up, come on with me. All right, good people, welcome back, welcome back. Got these good old strawberries, I'm to chop them up. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hold these out as I go along, you know what I mean? All I'm gonna do is show you one of those, cause you know, we're trying to save on time and all, but we'll get the middle of that out. And that just cut down on, you know, from your, your strawberries becoming too mushy, you know what I mean? As you try to mix them in and work with them and whatnot, you feel me? Uh, you know, we got this good old strawberry field video right on time for y'all for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna get this thing posted, you know what I mean? Right around that time, you know, so feel free to hook these up for your booth thing, your little significant other, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Show them you got them old culinary skills, you dig? Now we're gonna take uh, one and a half cups of uh, strawberries, add them to our uh, pan here. Got these on the medium heat, and we got a tablespoon of regular sugar, a tablespoon of brown sugar. We got uh, about a, I think a teaspoon of cinnamon. Got a little lime juice. Got a fourth of a cup of water going in. And then we're just gonna mix that around just like so. Go bring that on up to a summer, summer, summer down, summer, summer down. And then we go take a uh, mashed potato masher and just give them a real good, good mash. You feel me? Just like that, just like that. And then we go strain it. You know what I mean? Got to remove all that plant material and particulates. And then we left with this here, you know, beautiful red to gold. You feel me? We go bring this back on up to a summer, uh, stirring. You know, as we go along, um, frequently. You know, it's not let anything stick or burn. And what we're doing is uh, we're reducing this down to more of a syrupy consistency as opposed to a liquid. Um, and that way, you know, we got more of a reduction. You know, the more you reduce, the thicker the reduction. So keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you can use this for all kind of stuff, y'all. You know, a good reduction sauce will go a long way, you feel me? Uh, now we're going to utilize uh, two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to spoon, level, and sift this particular flour. And that's just for consistency, you know, in our batter and what have you, you feel me? Little pro tip for your hair top. You know what I mean? That's one dime, and then we go with two dimes. Sift it all up. Do like that, let your wrist up. Yeah, 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 just like that. All right, to that, we're gonna add uh, some baking powder. We got a tablespoon and a half of uh, baking powder. We got some baking soda. We got a half of a teaspoon of baking soda going in. We got a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then uh, we just gonna get that a good whisk around, let it get nice and acquainted. I'll also have all of the ingredients down in the uh, you know description area. And we got three fourths cup of uh, regular sugar, and then we got a tablespoon of regular sugar. And then we just go uh, combine that with our unsalted butter and then go and get to mix it, feel me? Scrape aside, make sure you don't leave nothing behind. Get back to work. And then you'll get us a good mix until it starts to get, you know, a little bit of a creamy, granular consistency. And then we go throw in our first egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get on up in now. Second egg going in, just like that. I mean, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know what I mean? Help you out with that good old algorithm. I appreciate you. And uh, we got uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract going in. Just like that. Continue to mix. And then we got uh, three-fourths a cup of uh, milk. We'll set that to the side and add some of our, our dry mix. And then we're going to add some milk. And then go ahead and start to mix it together again and then we just gonna do this in stages you know a little mix a little milk mix it up and continue you 
you can go and scrape your sides, get all of that, and then add our last bit of dry mix, last little church of milk. adequately mix you want to go ahead and just you know again get everything off the sides and give it one little mix final mix set it to the side now these are the other a cup and a half of strawberries that we cut up and to that we just gonna add a layer of uh, flour so that you know the strawberries don't sink to the bottom of our batter here and then you want to very gently very very gently fold these strawberries into your mix you know what I mean you don't want to stir them you want to fold them in you feel me let your, let your wrist be a guide. You want to be real gentle like it. Real gentle, you feel me? And then we're going to use an ice cream scooper. And uh, we're just going to spoon in, um, you know, just a small amount of our batter into each little cup. Uh, of course, I pre-greased the pan uh, with some uh, spray, you know, uh, what's that? Spray oil stuff, non-stick. I know what I'm trying to say. All right, coming along here. And then we're just going to hook this up and fill in each one. And then we go come in with our strawberry reduction after leveling these out a little bit. Now I didn't put too much in the first go around because we're gonna come back through and top them off. And uh, so we add our strawberry reduction. Uh, I did a couple of different things. I did a little swirl action on the first three. And then I'm just gonna actually pump them, pump them full on, on the ones in the middle. You feel me? You know, like I'm, I'm actually just injecting them, you know, basically uh, with some of that good old reduction. And then we did the outside one with a little swirl as well. And then we go tell them to come back through, top them off with a little bit more of our batter. You know what I mean? Waste not, want not. And then we got, you know, a little strawberry for some garnishment. You know what I mean? Make them look fly. Very Valentine's Day friendly. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Looking good for them going up, boy. Beautiful that is, boy. Coming along. Can you smell that? You can't, but I know you wish you could. Yeah, yeah, look how beautiful that is, boy. We in the game, baby. Yeah, look how beautiful that is. Look like it should be on a magazine or something. You know what I mean? Ooh, you think Betty Crocker been up in this thing? You feel me? Chef Boy R O. You dig? Whew. And I know you want to bite. I know you want to bite. You know what I mean? You can get you one. If you just take this video, follow these instructions, and then boom, you're in the game, baby. All right, good people, moment of truth. Time to test it out, see what it do. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. So yeah, man, homemade strawberry muffins, definitely a hit. You definitely can make them without the strawberry reduction, but highly recommend. We go do one more bite for you.